Rest in peace, husband and wife. Your loving wife won't be far behind. Here lies my darling George. Whatever shall I do without you come the harvest? Cousin Judas, I'd like you to meet Dr. Adolf Moodle from Vienna. Leave me to my fate, Robert Postchild. It's a very great pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Starkedder. I have heard something of you from Fräulein Post. You must leave me be. I'm a dead woman. Now she's safely gathered in, delivered from this life of sin. Yes. Well, never mind that now. When your father and I got married. I must go in. Yes. Good luck. Please. Well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Freddie, I want to come over. Yes. Yes, it is. It is. Thank you. Come over. Why, Miss Post? What a marvelous day for a wedding. Doctor Moodle, this is Mr. Myberg. Myberg. Doctor Moodle, yes, I know you by reputation, of course, but never actually met. I did attend one of your lectures once, um, The Mind at War with Itself. Ah, so. And weren't you there too, Miss Post? Yes, indeed, Mr. Mybug. Dr. Moodle, could I ask you to accompany Cousin Judith into the church? It will be my pleasure. Tell me, do you like old churches? Ah, <laughs> Mr. Mybug, would you excuse me? I've spotted someone I simply must talk to.
A wedding present for him, matey. A gift for my own wild marsh ticket. Oh, Adam, how sweet are you? Oh, oh, oh. Put it in my bosom. It will make you bear four children. That is well. You'll see. I must thank you, Miss Post. Dr. Moodle has asked me to go and stay with him at his nursing home in London. He says I can stay with him for six months and talk to him, play some chess if I like. It's my energy, you see. It turns in instead of out. He's going to turn it out for me. She must have seen something nasty in the woodshed. Welcome to Cold Comfort Farm. There's always been stock at a Cold Comfort Farm. But it's been some time since we've had a wedding here. I must admit that Elphine's wedding has not turned out quite as I'd planned. But I've never seen her looking lovelier or more radiant. So, so I give it my blessing. My great niece Flora has told me something very wise. What a pleasant life. How to put it, dear? What a pleasant life might be had in this world by a handsome, sensible old lady of good fortune, blessed with a sound constitution and a firm will. Jane Austen. Yeah. Jane Austen. Yeah. So, I'm taking her advice and leaving for Paris in a few moments. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank now, you. remember, when you get to Nice, ask oh, for the Hotel Miramar. I will, my dear. I shall do exactly as you advise. You won't find me plucking my eyebrows, nor dieting, nor doting on the boy 25. <coughs> there is just one thing, Aunt Ada, before you go. What was the wrong Amos did my father? And what are my rights? Aunt well, Ada? Uh, Yes, my dear. Adam wants to come to Hookerjaw Hall with us and look after our cows. Do you mind? It all will care for factories, aimless, graceless and pointless. Adam, you wouldn't desert them. Never, ma'am. Take them with me. There's room for all at Ouchy Crawl. <laughs> well, you may take them if you want to, Adam. Bless you, Miss Starkadder. You're my good and after all. And bless you, Robert Post, child. You lifted the doom from cold comfort. Three cheers for Aunt Ada! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hooray!